Hello, welcome to the Wilbur Lucas Super Duper Sexy Show. This is some animal crushing in your soup. Um, I haven't done an update in my town in a bit, and I feel like I've really just improved everything. You can see Sahara's in my town. I already got all that stuff from her today. Or is it him? I don't know. It doesn't matter. You can see, because I have the map toggled in the bottom right corner, that I have a few more roads uh, put down. And I've been put uh, putting up uh, a bunch of these skinny roads just so you can run through the extremely many flowers that I do have. Which is a pretty good idea. And it also looks pretty nice. And it's a way to get you to somebody's house quickly. It just makes a lot of sense. So this is my main room. I'm, I'm going with the paintball floor. Um, we have the rainbow cone, the tie-dye shirt. We have the flag design, which is my character, Panko. But he, he goes by many other names, but I think Panko is probably his real name. You can call him the Pinga School. If I ever have to like restart my channel, I could just like use him. Well, drawing Robotnik is really fun. Uh, so this, this, um, I mean, other than the paintball flooring, uh, most of the stuff is the same. I think the red fridge is different. Uh, perhaps the darker, t uh, colored wooden desk is different. Um, I do have this electronics table thingy with the switch on it, and, uh, if you turn the camera behind, you can see all these wires and stuff. That's kind of a nice feature. I also, for the first time ever, put the clump of 69 weeds in the center of the evil magic pentagram whatever the fuck, uh, purple, uh, magic zone, uh, so that looks just better, um, the tool shelf may be a little higher, I think I was hanging it lower in the past, um, let's check out the volcano room, make it, make it quicker, I guess, cause, I don't know, it doesn't matter, I think this is great fun, um, because I have a capture card, I can potentially do let's plays for a bunch of different, um, Things. I don't really, I'm more into like doing quick battles or like, you know, 15 to 20 minute whatever, but um, I am enjoying the Kirby Let's Play, which I'll do more of that. Um, this room hasn't changed too much. The Golden Gears have been there forever. Uh, the Victory Flag is relatively new. Um, the, that uh, stage light on the top right is new, and I moved the camera to the center. Uh, you'll notice that the coconut plant um, is affected by the wind uh, from the fans and his physics. That's really nice. Um, I have those little plant thingies. There are recipes I got later uh, in the corner because I thought that looked cool. And uh, yeah, this is the place with the lights on, but uh, definitely best in the dark. Um, and the whole room is kind of centered around this wanted poster, which has like three different lights shining on it in a room with the lights turned off, so it really kind of, you know, um, draws your attention, you could say. I really like how the paintball floor is just different colored paint everywhere. I know that's probably obvious, but like, as, as an arty, artsy kind of person, and it's, it's nice. It's good, and it really looks good with the, um, uh, graffiti wall, or the street, the street art wall, I believe it's called. Um, I have a relatively new bug wall, which you can see is kind of shiny, a little holographic effect. Um, the butterflies match the rug in the floor that was already there so goddamn well that I was actually, like, pretty much astounded when I put this up, just, like, for shits, because, um, I've been using the birthday, uh, wall and flooring in this room for some time. Um, but, uh, having the bug wall, which I only got a bronze, I didn't actually get all, I don't think I got all the items at all, but I, I think I was lucky enough to get all the pretty good ones. I know there's another fake bug I can get, um, uh, but it really makes sense since I'm decorating with these, uh, big bug metals in the bug heads to have the butterfly wall. And like I said, the, I don't know, the colors in this room are great. Yeah. I've been studying art for years, by the way. But, uh, you know. Uh, Mega
like my room. This room is like far and away the best room now because I I put this new wallpaper up and it it's an it, it it's multiple layered and it has animated rain. I had this wallpaper for a while from Sahara, but I just like stockpiled it and kind of forgot about it. I've been running the uh, cherry blossom wallpaper and flooring for some time. Um, but I, I was just like, put this up just to see what it looked like, and I was absolutely fucking blown away. Because this thing has bushes, which I don't know if you could tell, but they're like a little, they, the trees move a little bit behind them. I feel like maybe it's a, maybe it's just an illusion because the artwork is so nice looking on the wall. Um, but the, you got these bushes in front which have these purple, or uh, pink petals, and then it matches the already cherry blossom floor, and it just looks so fucking amazing. Uh, and, and the fact that it's raining so much really reminds me of the town that I am living in, uh, which is a uh, western Washington tiny-ass town. One of the... One of the ones that isn't Seattle. Um, but yeah, speaking of Washington things... Been here over ten years, so I got a feel. I got I got a feel for the vibes. We got a coffee machine, and we also have a very clever. I think this is your last time. Um, like a little. I don't know what the fuck this thing. It's like a um, a library, a mini library. I think it was called, but it's like a wooden container to put your books in because it rains all the fucking time, and it. I mean, in Washington. It rains all it rains all the time, but it doesn't rain hard. Like it might be raining and you won't even notice because it's like grocery store misting. It's um yeah I don't know. It's weird. I'm just I've I've been around harder rain, but anyway, that room is really tight, really really tight. Um, good stuff. It's improved vastly, um, just like the other rooms have. Um, this room, I'm not sure if this one had the money floor before. I think it had the vape floor, or the cloud floor. But, um, I got this recipe from a friend for the money floor, and it's 50k. But it looks so amazing with the, uh, with the world flooring and the golden toilet. Because they kind of relate to each other, since it's your, your floor is literally money, you might as well have a gold toilet, right? And then money makes the world go around, right? Like it's a really tried expression, so I think a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people will get that one. Uh, I took out the cherry lamps, and I have some bugs and fish here. This lobster actually rams the glass. It's kind of a hard to see animation. Let's see if I can get it um, clearly here. Yeah, he. You can barely see it, but there's a crack in the glass. Let's see if I can see it better here. Yeah. See the little crack and then it goes away? Yeah, so this lobster is uh, one of the new diving creatures and it's like a rainbow colored and it's... It's basically like Crawdont with adaptability in real life. Um, and it like... I don't know, I think it's pincers have like extra movement or some shit. Like, I don't know, it's like one of those... Really cool underwater predators. It's really cool about animals and shit. I'm on this planet Earth, right? Which that globe is right there with a really nice palm tree lamp. Um, why are you looking so hard for aliens? Just like do some deep diving, find literally new creatures just all the time. Like that's brand. That's basically aliens. We got aliens in our backyard. We have aliens in our backyard. Um, yeah, this is my junk depression room. I do have the Golden House Award, whatever, because I got over. I think I, I think you get it when you uh, score 150k over the whatever unit points they measure the rooms in. Um, I did have the fossil decorating my door, but I have that other one now that my friend Charlie gave me. Good stuff. Um, but I put it on the wall because it kind of fills a empty space, and I have a matching rug uh, that I already had there, the fossil rug. 
And this is the drunk depression room. I put some instruments up, which, um, and I took out the extremely large cardboard flooring that probably took up six spaces or something. Um, but yeah, I got a little tambourine here. I have a little ocarina, which sounds pretty shockingly good with this sad music. Sad. Yeah, so that's good. Um, this this freezer is cool. The web is new. Um, that uh, sweatshirt with holes in it is was pretty new as well. Uh, as as well as the frog and the clock. Uh, that clock is actually pretty easy to read when you're up here, so that's kind of nice. Um, and I like how. I mean, I had this, I had this shower thing here before, but I didn't have the frog there. So now the frog being there makes a lot more sense. And I still love how there's a burning fire right in front of the entrance of the room. It's like, yeah, that's pretty much what this room is going to be like. All right, so that's my house in a nutshell. Real quick, about a 10-minute look at, look-see. Uh, now I'll show you the rest of the island. Real, real quick, real, real quick. We got this thing, it looks cool. Um, these things have been here before. This is a new road, which leads to Agnes's house. And she's actually moving, she wanted to leave. She randomly wanted to leave because she had that thought bubble. Usually they want to give you an item or something. But uh, Agnes is, I think, maybe the first um, first or second villager I ever had. Um, one of the default villagers, for sure. Um, so it's really sad to see her go, and she, it's actually, she doesn't, she has very mixed feelings. She doesn't actually want to go. I'll see you laugh, dude. She had a lot more to say the first time. Um, but yeah, it's great. Um, it's, it's great because I already have her photo, which, um, I'm... If you are a hardcore Animal Crossing collector, you are in it to get as many photos as you can because um, technically they're the rarest items in the game. Uh, I got a couple more photos here. I'm not gonna click on all of them. Oh, also this this is new. This is the mermaid sofa, which looks pretty freaking nice. Uh, that tree over there is new. The clothesline is a different color. This is one of those seasonal items. It's a bamboo. Um, hey, it's Weedle Tweedle up there. Uh, the clothesline's all different color. Color. This other shit is the same. Uh, this picture is new. He has a nice saying. I'll, I'll click on him. This photo is shit, huh? There's a message written in small letters on the back of the photograph. Do what you want, but do it loud. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Once I get um, Rodney's photo, I'll probably put it right next to his. Or uh, if I get the horse's photo first, I'll do that. Um, I'm really enjoying the diving thing. I've swapped these out for lifesavers because it kind of works with the life guard chair and the whole beach theme. I don't know. Like, it's good to have matchy things when you can. I had a. Um, shooting star uh, or a star shower last night and I, I just collected pretty much like 25 star fragments oh this guy has fucking fleas no. wait does he not have fleas no he does have fleas he said itchy I'm like you're not just an idiot are you I mean he is but Fuck. 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 What's, I don't know what to say. Uh, er, nope. See you around, Itchy. Yeah, get away. No! <laughs> oh, how am I this bad? Here we go. Fucking got him. Shit. 
Sugar Jay, the fleeced you could do. The, fuck off. All right. Uh, that table might be a different color. I think it was red or a different one before, and the chair is the pink one. Uh, that stuff was there before. These trees were here before. Uh, this stuff is pretty much the same. Looks really good. Uh, we got a weir open sign up here. I guess I'll just hop up there. Oh, there's Sherb with his purple ninja outfit on. I do some live bug hunting in Animal Crossing. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I got too close. Alright, I swing at the blue flower. There you go. Is it? It's one space ahead of the object. But sometimes I get a little fucked up and I forget and think it's like two spaces ahead. But, uh, the one great thing about Animal Crossing, just like, um,. Pokemon is, uh, in the end, who gives a fuck? It's Animal Crossing. It doesn't matter. It's good. Sorry, I'm on break. Yeah, Rodney has the same personality as Kyle, uh, which is pretty cool. They're like the, uh, really gay personality. Gay hipster, I think. Uh, I mean, like, it isn't necessarily gay. I shouldn't say that. Um, but it's like, I don't know. There's, there's a better name for it. We got Sid here. I got my golden throne from Susie. We got the weed zone over there. I mean, uh, whatever. We got dinosaurs here because when you sit over here, you are transported into the Stone Age. Let's just uh, have a little demonstration. We have the reggae music. We have the air conditioning. We got the air purifier. We even have seaweed between the bamboo trees. And as you can see, there is a Triceratops checking out the ass of another Triceratops, which means you have been transported to the Stone Age, which is something you can do in my town. It's just a feature. Uh, so now we're over here. This part's pretty much unchanged. Uh, this part is new with the shelf of the turtle. That's relative. I mean, this is new as well. I have a camper, which I could invite, but she looks hella fucking ugly. I'll show you. Um, Dark Star is playing Pokemon Sword. So, her horn is a strawberry. Like, that's kind of cool, I guess, but it's like. I don't know. That's kind of gross, because it's like. I don't know, man. Wanna play a game? If you win, denim overalls, okay. I'll play the game. Ah, uh, I know the rules. Alright, let's see. It's probably gonna be heart. No, it's not gonna be heart. It's gonna be fucking, uh, gonna be goddamn club, isn't it? Give me that fucking money. Give me that shirt. Oh, we got them. We got some. For some reason, I've been doing this enough because I'm a goddamn, like, I need help, I guess, but, like, <laughs> when it's on the right side, more often it seems to be red, and when you're on, like, the bottom or the left side, it, um, it, sem it seems to be black, so it's kind of a 50-50, I feel like, as long as you think that information is right. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just a lucky bitch. Are you some kind of guessing game expert? Shortcake, yeah. Let's get these overalls on. Oh, that looks pretty awesome, actually. I'll keep that on. Black and white. Black on white. Man. Looks like I'm about to do your uh, play wall or something. Fuck yeah, this looks great. I mean, black and pink always kind of look good, like, I don't know, I'm, I've been drawing since the age of two, and I seem to have a very sharpened sense of humor and taste for many things in general. Uh, yeah, call me Leo Tomino Jr. Let's catch this thing. Ravonic is sexy. Uh, we're gonna catch this uh, walking leaf. 
This is about 20 minutes in. Um, oh man, the wolf is singing. Kyle is, is having a sing song. So, come on, Kyle, let's do it. Yeah. Once I gave him that shirt, he's never swapped it off. I have a bed up there, but I'm not gonna go up there. I don't think he's singing anymore. Whatever, he's just sitting. Um, this. Okay, so this fence is new. That was put in yesterday. This whole path is new, leading to, I took out a bush and put in, uh, or no, I took out a section of fencing and put in that thing, because why not, it goes with the fencing. And now I have all that, all those pink flowers, and I got this thing, and uh, this looks nice with Sherb's house. Oh, the happy birthday area, I've customized it. I have the orange table, which may or may not be chocolate cake. I think it is, it has some brown cake there. And for some extremely dark humor, we have the uh, Western Gravestone next to the Happy Birthday sign. Yeah. I mean, it is 2020. You shouldn't be expecting this shit. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I expanded the land mass over here so it's easier to walk around the pile of shit, uh, which is something I needed to do a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, we have this guy, the Guardian of Shit. I'll just show you the paths, I guess. Yeah, that's some nice land masses here and there. So that thing obviously takes you to the main town. This thing takes you to airport. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. There are some extra roads over here. Uh, yeah, actually, they're all they're all connected. So we got new roads that take you to their houses. So you can run through without worrying about the flowers, which is like pretty much the epitome of like a five-star town, right? You gotta have roads fucking everywhere. Um, they're very, very narrow roads. Um, so whatever. Let's see. Do I got a new one? Yes, I am. Yeah, no, it's sad. Don't do sad songs anyway, Gramble. Yeah, I thought she might have a new recipe. I forgot she uh, had one earlier. I was just checking this shit out. Um, yeah, so these extra roads, this area takes you over here, which I expanded the landmass here, so that's kind of cool, I guess. I might as well trim this off and make it consistent. I don't know. I'll leave this old little giblet here. Uh, that little road has been there for a bit. Uh, that's pretty much... Wait. I didn't show you the little bit by the Godzilla, I don't think. So let's check it out. So you can take a fork on the road up here, which leaves you in this really nice little plot. And I read this area a bit. Uh, you can now see the box of records a lot more clearly. And you're no longer boxed in by the seating or the chair or whatever the fuck. I moved it around. But I, I put a little dirt area by the where this is because, you know, conceivably people go here all the time and it's like the hangout spot so people do this all the time. I don't know. You gotta make pretend with your pretend computer animals, uh, and that's what I do, and that's what I have to do, because of COVID-19 and living in the United fucking States and all that good stuff. Um, oh, I moved this thing out here. Um, this wheel represents COVID-19. Will he get it? Let's see if we, uh, we... This was previously in the basement, but I... Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but I have a, uh, hey, cool, we're, we're in the clear there, um, I swapped it out for this blackboard that had tournament scribblings on it, it had, like, a bunch of, I don't know, it, it went with the money floor and the whole, uh, underground fight pit vibe going on there, so I think that is pretty much my entire town. Uh, 25 minutes. It's a good chunker. I have gnomes everywhere. I don't know. Comment, like, subscribe. If you want to visit my town, 
Yeah, we can just... Holy shit, I think I... <laughs> How do I get the fuck over here? I think I put my mailbox in like an impossible spot. Hold on. I accidentally picked it up earlier. There we go. I placed it too close to the other thing because I have it here so I can do that. Okay. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. Oh, I'm going to catch that beetle real quick. It's uh, like officially summer in the game, so we got these beetles on the trees. Like pretty much facking all the time. Like they spawn constantly. It was really great. I fucked up earlier, but we're going to get this one. Yes. Well, I'll show you my uh, Pokedex real quick. I'm actually pretty impressed with my progress. Look at this. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And then these fish. I'm coming for you guys. I've, look, I've almost kind of filled up. I've given so many hours to this fucking thing. But honestly, it, it, re it does feel like this game does Pokemon better than Pokemon. Which is fucking disgusting. But, I mean, the whole, um... Catching random animal animals gameplay concept is a lot more fun feeling in, in this game. But anyway, um, I need not digress. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that shite. Yeah. Alright. Pulse.